This is Jupiter Today for the 3rd of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day behind Jupiter, but moving into quadrant one and heading east. Europa starts the day near its eastern elongation and will be moving into quadrant two heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant three heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one heading east. At six hours UTC, EO is firmly in quadrant one heading east, but getting towards its eastern elongation. And by 12 hours UTC, EO has indeed gone past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa is also in quadrant 2, heading west. You can see that Europa, or EO is going to actually pass Europa in its orbit. The blue line here is the line of sight to the Earth, this way, and the gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. These lines are going to soon overlap when we get to opposition in a couple of days on the 6th of February. So by 18 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 2 heading west but going to be moving in front of Jupiter, transiting. And by 0 hours UTC tomorrow, EO has indeed transited Jupiter and Europa is just in the process of doing so. These are the Apogeove and Perigeove plots. The y-axis here is the radial distance between, in this case, Io and Jupiter in kilometers, and the x-axis is the UTC. And you can see that EO is going to be going through a perigeove today. That happens at 1733 UTC at a distance of 420,013.6 kilometers. Europa goes through an apogeove today at 1712 UTC at a distance of 677,162 kilometers. Ganymede is just moving out of its perigeove and is now moving radially away from Jupiter all day today. And finally, the much awaited apogeove of Callisto is going to take place today. That takes place at 1607 UTC at a distance between Callisto and Jupiter of 1,896,254.1 kilometers. The orbital ribbons today so these are the same orbits of Io and Europa and Ganymede and Callisto with Jupiter in the center and it's all I've done is just connected the same times together and they form these what I call ribbons that sometimes look like they have a little twist in them. So this is the connection between Io and Europa and Io and Ganymede, Io and Callisto, Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine them all and add some color to make a rather interesting and what I consider a beautiful shape. It's kind of interesting how all these are lining up today like that. That's just because Callisto is over here. Alright, there are seven Jupiter satellite events today. 
first happens at 0 hours 39 minutes UTC when EO reappears from behind Jupiter. And then at 1926, the shadow of EO ingresses. At 1931, the transit of EO begins. At 2144 UTC, the shadow of EO egresses. At 2148, the transit of EO ends. At 2223 UTC, the shadow of Europa ingresses. And at 2231, the transit of Europa across Jupiter begins. As opposed to yesterday, there are no satellite mutual events today. So we'll go right to 24 hours of Jupiter sky. You could imagine that you're standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, so you can see all the stars going by and the moons overhead. And this is what you'd see over the next 24 hours. No human eye will actually see any of these events, but maybe someday. Here's Eo going to move in front of Europa from Jupiter's point of view. Almost at the same time they're going to be transiting. That must be a spectacular event to actually see. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, first at 5.02 and the second at 14.58 UTC. And there were quite a few new images posted today. And there was some new radio data posted as well. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 22 minutes, 38.3 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 22 minutes, 11.6 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 175.581 degrees, and that's 1.124 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 0.814 degrees, and that's 0.207 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 650,439,002 kilometers, and that's 179,181 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 7,465.88 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,957.79 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun 
is 797,515,559 kilometers, and that's 46,465 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. Jupiter is slowly moving away from the Sun, and that's 1,936.04 kilometers per hour relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun. And that's 4.88 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, 232 degrees, CM1, CM2, 275.69 degrees, CM3, 183.22 degrees. The time of this recording is 2.08 UTC on the 3rd of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. I appreciate it. I hope this is interesting and informative. I'm always trying to make improvements and try to show a nice perspective on the Jupiter system. You can send your comments and questions and suggestions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow... I bid you peace.